Well, we've all heard that 80% of the people believe that they're really great drivers, above average drivers. Yet, this is a statistical impossibility since there will be a lot less accidents. Well, so psychology suggests that this is a, a human trait that we have, it's a weakness that we have, and that we are predisposed to overestimate our positive qualities and underestimate our negative qualities. Well, this often turns up in the world of investing. I know I know that you are the exception to the rule because you yourself are better than the average investor. Now you can keep telling yourself this, but you have to realize that denial is often the first confirmation that there is something wrong. Now here's the truth. We're not even close to being above average investors. We as hu most humans are really bad at it. And they're no worse than the gurus and the managers and the carnival barkers of Wall Street. In a major way, we know this because Dalbar, which goes out and studies investor behavior year after year, finds that the market overall does upwards of 7% a year, while investors do about 2 to 3% a year. Now, investors didn't only underperform one index or a few indexes or a few asset classes, they underperformed absolutely everything out there. Investors even did worse than inflation. Now, how can this be? Well, it all boils down to the foolish belief that we can market time. Specifically, this belief manifests itself in investors moving into cash and trying to return to the market after uncertainty or, uh, uh, or the news of the day passes. I mean, how many of you or how many of how many folks did I know that because of the European debt crisis, Greece, um, the Great Recession, the fiscal cliff, elections, all these fiascos um, that have happened and people got out, they freaked out, they got emotional. And how did that work? Well, obviously not very well because last year and actually the last few years have been really really good market years so one of the things that you have to understand in order to be a great market timer you have to get three things right all the time when to get in when to get out and when to get back in I'm sorry but none of us is that good and you know what we don't really have to aspire to be that good because the best days of the market often occur immediately after the worst days and you have to be in the market in order to enjoy the generous returns over time. Another thing you have to understand is that in the Forbes 400 list there are no, there's not one single market timer in that list. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to tell you to do is bottom line ignore the noise and just stay in for the long term and you'll be a way better investor than most everybody out there. Of course, unless you like to be a bad investor. Don't forget my books, one with Mark Matson and myself, Dirty Filthy Lies My Broker Taught Me, and of course Mark Matson's book, Main Street Money, which you can get right here on this side. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV.